When thinking about the greatest musicians of all time, two traits stand out for me that they all have in common. Complete authenticity and originality. The Red Hot Chili Peppers are complete originals and are true to themselves, and when I think of that band, the first thing that pops in my head is Flea's bass playing. His combination of funk music and punk rock into his playing helped drive the Red Hot Chili Peppers' original sound all the way from the 1980s until today. But where did Flea get the idea to combine the two, funk and punk? In the late 1970s and early 80s, punk rock was becoming mainstream, and in the LA scene, there was no bigger punk rock band than Fear. Fear had just made national headlines by playing their infamous show on Saturday Night Live in 1981, where they trashed the SNL set and caused more than $20,000 worth of damages. Drummer Spit Sticks described his band as Dead Kennedys thought we were fascists, homophobes thought we were gay, lesbians thought we were misogynists. Whatever they were, they were definitely pioneers in the punk rock scene, and Flea was absolutely enthralled with them. Flea, along with pals Anthony Kiedis and Hillel Slovak, were huge into the punk rock scene at the time. They hadn't yet formed the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but they were best friends and would go to all these punk rock shows in LA, seeing bands like The Germs, Black Flag, as well as Fear. So in 1982, when bass player Durf Scratch was fired from Fear, Flea had a big decision to make. Should he try and go on an addition and take advantage of this opportunity? Flea had been in a band with his buddy Hillel for the last few years. They were gaining momentum with a record deal likely around the corner. Should Flea try and ditch this band that he started and ditch the one guy that taught him the bass guitar in the first place in Hillel? Flea eventually decided that the opportunity was just too good to pass up. He got the audition, nailed it, and got the job as the new bass player in one of his favorite bands. Fear drummer Spit Sticks remembered the band members being concerned with Flea's lack of playing experience, but he says Flea made up for it with a pint-size excitement machine that he was, jumping around, shaking his head around, and matching all of Fear's attack-oriented punk rock energy. Probably goes to show you how good of a bass player Flea had actually become at this point, to just step in and get the job in a band that wasn't even close to the classic rock musical style he was playing in his high school band with Hillel. It was a dream come true for him, to get into an already well-established band that you love? What's better than that? Flea had entered into this weird world of punk rock mini-stardom. Flea always looked back at this time in his life in a positive way, and in an interview years later, you could hear why him, Hillel, and Anthony were so drawn to punk rock, and why they transferred that sensibility to the Chili Peppers, saying, quote, It was so fucking exciting, and it was so much energy and so much vibrancy, and a feeling of this urgency that you wanted to do this thing, and not because you wanted to get a record deal or not because you wanted to succeed commercially or anything like that, but to be a part of this really cool thing that felt great to be a part of, and that heartfelt passion and that feeling in music is really exciting. It's not just music and it's not just making records, but it's sort of this whole social scene and this whole sense of community. Flea would end up sticking it out longer in fear than the band expected, as he would later confess, mostly because it was the first band he was in that made any money and that people came to see. Flea would go on to form the Red Hot Chili Peppers with Anthony and Hillel less than a year into his time with Fear. Flea was an equal in the Chili Peppers. He had an equal say into all the creative decisions. He formed the band with his two best friends, and they were offered a record deal within six months of starting the band. Flea thought he could do both bands at the same time, but the members of Fear started asking questions on where his loyalty was, and that made the decision to quit Fear now obvious. Flea's time with Fear only lasted around two years, but it would make a deep impact on him and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Not only did it tighten up Flea's bass playing, but it gave him a look into how the live music industry worked. Flea loved Fear, loved that punk rock, but his bass playing at this point was already much more influenced by funk music. More groove, more melody, and noodling all around the fretboard. It's what made Flea unique, combining that funk influence with the punk rock intensity. No one was really doing it, and that just wasn't Fear's sound, which was more of an in-your-face hardcore band. Fear drummer Spit Sticks would later talk about Flea, saying, quote, He always had, and kept, his own funky, muscular style. I don't think that Fear took full advantage of his talents. <laughs> <laughs> 